Welcome to Cheap Gear Digital, and today we're taking a look at the T-Fighter Hotas X. And in this case, you should maybe not be fooled by the lowest price point. Let's find out. This unit is actually a combo unit, and you get both the throttle and a joystick, but let's take a look at the joystick first. If we take a greater look at the joystick, we can see it's mostly made of plastic, except the bottom, we have a bit of metal, and as we move up, we can see we have uh, three buttons, the two with this labeled with two and one, and we have the small joystick thing, then you can move up and down and choose the sides. And if we move this thing around, we can see there's a bot more labeled here with the number three, and of course we have the firing joystick button thing, and uh, to be honest, there's not a lot of force against you, so it's really easily pressed. And if we move down here at the bottom, we can see there's a preset and mapping button. I haven't really used those, but if you want, you can. And uh, you also have an uh, internal memory, so you can uh, save all your programming, even when the stick is disconnected and so on. And I haven't really used it. But again, if we take a look at the joystick, Aces actually the whole system actually comes with a 5-axis uh, mode. And at the joystick is where you find three of them, pitch, yaw and roll. And the 5-axis mode is only for PC users, for PlayStation users only get 4, but I don't own a PlayStation anyway. But in terms of the way the stick handles, it's actually pretty good, except when you're trying to make fine adjustments. I find it a bit hard to make it uh, fine adjustments. Uh, it's a bit challenging. It can be done, but it takes uh, practice and you have to. It's not that intuitive that I would have liked it to be. It's kind of the best way I can describe the feeling of using the joystick, but the joystick is not the only thing in this case actually we also comes with the throttle and as you can see you can either split them up or have them put together uh, personally i prefer to have them separated but the only drawback with this is that the joystick when you are in an intense uh, fight of some kind and you're rocking the joystick back and forth or to the sides it can become a bit wobbly because there's not enough weight in the bottom uh, it's a bit irritating but it and, and it takes your focus out of the battle for a brief second and that's actually the only grab I have with it at this point but it only happens when you have them separated and when you have them put together it really doesn't happen also the core between the two uh, a joystick and the throttle when you separate them I would have loved it to be a bit longer because then I could fit my keyboard in between the maximum length of your keyboard uh, can be 48 centimeters and let's say it this way it will still be a pretty tight fit and if we take a look here at the throttle, and you can see that again four buttons, and they are labeled from five to eight accordingly. And you can see the actually the only thing I have with these buttons it's the number eight. It's a bit hard to hit sometimes, and I kind of mush it with my palm. That's a bit irritating. It could have been placed better. Also at the throttle part, we have the fourth axis, and this is where you give throttle or have the reverse. And in the middle, in between the red and the uh, white uh, colors here there actually is a lock so it's easy to hit so it's no problem to hit that so you can have both reverse and uh, forward on the same uh, axis which is pretty great actually and if we take a quick look down we can see there's two more buttons two of them are programmable and we have the black button which light lights up when it's on and have to light green before all five axes is available and if we take a quick look at the throttle and we just turn around we find two extra buttons and we find our fifth axis uh, which I use to slide my ship to the sides, I don't know what it's actually called. Another thing before we come to the end of this video uh, is if we look at the back here, it's actually I have to give them some props about that. There's an included Allen key so you can screw the parts together if you don't want them to be separated. Also, there's pathing for the cables and cable management holes just one hole actually where you can have the cables when you put together. And there's really thought about this. Also, if you didn't notice, there's a kind of a knob with the joystick so you can adjust the resistance and force this in joystick to suit your preference and this is nice that they have the option is a bit custom so you can set it to your preference and that's pretty nice now it comes my verdict on this device actually i'm quite thrilled especially when you consider the price point yeah i know that, that i mentioned earlier it's hard to make precise movements also one thing i forgot to mention is that the throttle don't have any resistance in, in it the only thing that have is going for it is actually you have that point in the middle where it kind of stops and also most of the materials are made of plastic and feel very plasticky. But what is it that makes it so good anyways? It's like it, you have all the ne necessary axes. One thing that you do miss though is uh, buttons. There's only 12 buttons and that's way near not enough when you're playing some kind of flight sim. But even though, what is it that makes this so great? It's because I haven't 
I can't compare it with a lot of the high-end uh, joystick sets out there, but I because I don't own them. But if I compare it just to a keyboard and mouse, it's way better. I started playing some flight sims, and uh, compared to the f uh, mouse and keyboard, just buying this gave me a lot of extra hours I wanted to put into these games because it just made it so much more fun. And of course, this is not an expensive set of any kind if compared to a lot of the others, but what you get for your money is kind of the feeling of flying an airplane anyway, the right way. The biggest gripe I actually have with this is the button problem. There's only 12 of them and it really lacks some and could use some more. Um, but any of that, I actually think it's pretty great and it's a great entry to start playing flight sims or if you want to test if this is something for you and before you go in with near a bit more serious um, equipment. I would really recommend this because I really think it's great because you have all the necessary access and when you have that it just makes it much more intuitive to fly. It's You have to learn it a bit and maybe set it up before uh, but again when you have set it up it's just so much better than uh, a mouse and keyboard I guarantee it. So if you're really considering getting into flight sims I would definitely recommend this. Uh, and before we wrap this up I will say that I use some configuration tools. Um, when setting this up and I will leave a link to them in the description if you need those if you have any problem they help me and uh, that's pretty much it from this uh, guys and uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one and if you like this please leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button it really means a lot when you guys do that and uh, maybe check out some of the other videos I made and uh, that's pretty much all from this guys so thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one bye